Hello, I'm John McGrath. I'm a producer for Flatland at Kansas City PBS. And today, Art House is going to take a look at the amazing new local film, Epiphany, directed by Nicole Hodges Persley. Mama, you are right. Making breakfast, huh? Pancakes for Mama. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really the day in the life of a young African-American girl, and she is trying to figure out her voice. Uh, she's, we, we meet her on the, the morning after she has been suspended from school from an act that happened on the playground of her, her school where she uh, had to make a choice of how she wanted to stand for something she believed in and she made a choice. And so we're dealing with her on the day after which has to deal with the consequences of her choice. I realized that you're right. And no, that no, no, no. Yuck, that sounds too stiff. You, you gotta say it like you had an aha moment, an epiphany. It's uh, lovely, it stars Anaya Morrow, who is a fantastic young uh, actress here in Kansas City. Aisha Agbe, who's a, a fantastic actress coming out of UMKC. Uh, I think she graduated from there some time ago now. And Louis Morrow, who is an actor many people have been familiar with on the many sets here in Kansas City. And he is also the director of new playwriting at KC Melting Pot Theater, where I am the artistic director. So really working with a lot of local talent. I had an epiphany. What? I've been thinking, Mama. I'm at the age now where I have to start taking accountabilities for my actions, whether I'm wrong or right. The story comes really out of di uh, directing a play. I was directing a play called Ain't No Such Thing um, called Midnight Black by Louis Morrow. And Anaya Morrow, the young actress in this film, was in the play. And there was a line in the play that was concerned with the state of anti-Black climate that we're in right now and police violence. And it was a line in the play about what are we gonna do about our young Black girls? Because even in the midst of all this narrative, you get a focus on anti-Black violence against men, but not about women. And so I uh, talked to Louis Morrow, who is the writer and also stars in the film. And I said, what if we built a, a short film about that line where, what if we could track a young African-American girl that's coming from a really you know, lovely family. She has all the things around her that she needs to, to thrive, but yet she's still faced with these scenarios um, that are going to question who she is and what she can become. And so I said, that line is really powerful. Do you think you could build a short? And so he, he wrote it and then we kind of wrestled back and forth with it and we, we got epiphany. shot it in two days. It was produced by Christy Dobson, who is a close friend and is a local producer out of Lawrence with Storm Door Productions. And then we had just a lovely team, women in Lawrence film. A lot of local folks came together and loved the story and said, let's make it. And they donated their time and we did it in two fast and furious days. In the local uh, arena, which is really our kind of regional theater scene. I am the artistic director of KC Melting Pot Theater, which is one of Kansas City's premier African-American theater companies. Right now we are kind of experiencing this COVID moment, like many theaters across America that are shuttered by taking this digital moment to uh, do some training with our, our, our team. Uh, we're helping to develop a new stage manager program that will focus on increasing the representation of black stage managers and in the scene here and we are recently uh, the recipients of one of the Black Seed grants that came out through the Mellon Foundation. We're one of a hundred Black theaters in the United States that was granted one of these grants to help um, increase the representation of Black artists um, in front of and behind the scenes in the theater. So I'm really proud of the work we're doing and um, a lot of actors you see around town, a lot of folks around town, they have come through Melting Pot of black actors in the city, so that's very cool. Is this your car? Who else's car would it be? I wasn't sure, so I thought I would check. Let me call you right back. 
What I'm hoping is that people will take these highly challenging, painful, politicized moments where we're watching young black and brown men, women, non-binary folk be uh, constantly interrogated and challenged and engaged by the police. Is there a problem here? This lady was just jerking on the car doors, looking in the windows, acting suspicious. I simply asked her if this was her car, and now she's threatening me. Based on these kind of suppositions and stereotypes that are projected onto them, I want them to see this through the eyes of a child, a child having to navigate who they can be in the world through this lens that is always already connected to stereotypes and suppositions about people. And this is a young girl who has learned from her parents to stand for something. Maybe next time get a police officer involved when you think someone's breaking the law? And maybe next time hold off on the insults. You know, the B story of this is what you put into your children also comes out in ways that you may not necessarily be able to control. And we have to create environments for the, our children to thrive, but we also have to be able to protect them. And I think when you see the moments in this film, you see that even in our best intention, our children are still vulnerable um, uh, in these moments. And, you know, what are we all going to do about it? This isn't really just a Black issue. This is an issue of humanity that we should all have an expectation of protection and we should all want to protect each other, not police each other. And I'm, I'm hoping that people will think about that when they see this through the eyes of a young girl. You said if somebody looked like they was thinking about almost wanting to maybe hit me, knock the lights out. Well, so I did.